Hello, my Scorpios, and happy Tuesday. Elsie here to do your reading for the week ahead. And, uh, yeah, if you enjoy this reading, if you could give me a thumbs up on this uh, reading, I would appreciate that. If you enjoy the content, also, if you would subscribe and share, that would be wonderful. I am here to do your reading, Scorpio, for uh, the week ahead. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Now, I've already blessed the cards, but I haven't cut them yet. So this is what's come out here. We've got the Knight of Wands. And um, the Knight of Wands, it looks like, is... Yeah, someone who comes in and out, someone who sort of thinks before they leap. Um, no, someone who doesn't think before they leap, someone who just sort of takes a chance. Yeah, someone who moves quicker than they think. All right, Scorpio, let's see what's going on here for you. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Here we go. Welcome to Ten of Cups Tarot. If you're new, I hope you will subscribe. We have a really great group of people here. Okay. Well, things are coming up right now, and we got that King of Wands anyway. So here we go, starting out with these. <coughs> Scorpio, Sun and Rising, Venus and Jupiter. Scorpio. Scorpio. What do we have for the week ahead for Scorpio? Time is fluid, y'all, so just remember that. Not linear. last one. Good. Let me take a look here. Okay, so what I feel is though um, the Emperor the Emperor has been left out in the cold, is it possibly? So you guys, um, we don't have to be talking about an Aries here. There are, you know, um, there are other people who um, fit the um, the identity of the emperor, which means you have the um, energy and the lessons of all the kings, right? They report to the king, and <coughs> the emperor rules the empire, right? So this person is the take charge person. This is the battle ready person, ready to defend when they need to, ready to give orders when they need to. They know the right thing to do. Um, yeah, because they've grown up and they're sort of bred for this position, sort of. So, um, the Emperor, I feel here, is uh, could be out in the cold. We have lots of fire here, right? Three out of four cards are fire. So, we have um, Aries, Vir uh, sorry, Aries, uh, Sagittarius, or Leo. Um, we have um, the Page of Wands, which is the good news. I feel like there is someone who's going to be charging into someone else who really wants to get a hold of someone else and tell them that there is some good news. But I think that this person is on the outside right now. They've either been, hmm, how, do we, how do we say, um, been pushed out of someone's life or um, I feel like someone is going to take charge since they've been pushed out of someone's life. And um, I feel like they're going to go in anyway, regardless, because that's what the emperor does, right? The emperor makes the decision and goes forward with it. Doesn't ask questions, doesn't ask anyone else what they think or feel. He just goes ahead and does it. I say he because there's a man on the card, but we all know we're talking about divine feminine and masculine energy here. We are not talking about the cone you arrived in, which is your body. So um, we have uh, the page of wands which is good news it also is going on a different path and passion so i feel like somebody is taking charge um of um this five of coins here i think that somebody it could be an emperor could be an aries but someone who fits the criteria of the emperor feels as though they've been left on the outside looking in and they're going to take charge of that i feel and they're going to move forward and i don't know that they're going to do it with a whole lot of thought they may have been thinking about it a lot in the past but when it comes to movement I think this person's going to make a split-second decision, and that's what they're going to do. Um, they're either going to text that person, or they're going to call that person, something like that. But it is going to be good news. Let's see what else we've got here. Oops. So the Emperor wants a reunion. There we go. Hmm. All right. 
let's take a look here. Yeah, the Emperor is looking for a reunion, and I feel as though there is someone who may have put... Um, it could be the Emperor, it could be any other sign, you guys, as long as this person has the criteria of the Emperor, the person who's char in charge. It could be also a supervisor or a manager who put you out, or maybe you put them out. Maybe you quit a job or they moved from the job or something like that, but I feel as though this person that's in charge here is trying to... Um, plan a reunion. They want to bring themselves back into the life of, it could be someone who is a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. Um, it could be someone who is an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have Leo here. I feel like the emperor is going to be successful bringing themselves in from out of the cold because the sun is here. I feel like it's time. I feel like there's, I feel like there's time that's passed here. And I yeah, I guess this is time that's passed here. Time not talking, time not spent together, maybe time in healing. Maybe you just ne really needed to heal, Scorpio. Um, I feel like your healing is going well, but I feel like you're still in the midst of, um, of the healing. I feel like this new path that you want to go on or this news that you have has to do with love. I think you've chosen someone in love, um, and I feel like um, this person has deep feelings for you as well. I feel like there is an age difference here, um, Scorpio. You are younger than them, or they are younger than you. Take it as it resonates, because this is a general reading, and it doesn't necessarily mean that it is your reading, right? So we've got the Emperor who's Aries. Yeah, we went through that, right? We've got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We've got a lot of fire. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, we've got water, we've got Leo again, we've got swords here, which is Libra, um, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini, and then we, again, we have some more water here. So what I think is happening here so far is we have someone who is probably going to try and bring themselves into a reunion specifically. Um, this emperor, I feel like, is fighting this being out in the cold here, feels they have a good chance of bringing themselves back into this life of this possible water, water uh, sign person. You may have water in your big three, your sun, moon, or rising. And I feel as though um, that there is love between you. So it's not only that the emperor just wants to bring themselves out of the cold and take charge of the situation. I feel like this reunion is because of love, because there is a new path for the um, uh, for the person who is the emperor or the person who's taking charge. They've decided to charge in on another path. Yeah, let's see what we've got here. Toxicity in marriage. Hmm. Wounded warrior. Yeah, it was very toxic. Could have been with someone who is a Taurus, someone who is Capricorn, um, someone who is a fire sign. But I feel like there has been um, a marriage here that has broken because of toxicity, lies, deceit, feeling stuck in one spot. This person here, this is what you don't see, what's, what's coming up, what you don't see is that um, this person who feels exhausted and they're tired of fighting for what they want, I think they're just going to drop what's left here, take that one wand with them and head off to um, the fork in the road here. I feel like there's a decision that needs to be made, maybe between two people. Um, and uh, we have someone who needs to make a decision here and, w and I feel like no matter what decision they make, it's going to break their heart because um, there is, I think this, this emperor has love for both people, but I think that one is toxic and one is not. We have uh, some defensiveness here, conversation and words, some passion starting brand new, and then we don't know what's in the future, but we're heading toward it anyway with the magician. All right. Well, let's take a look, see what else we've got here. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. We do need to clarify for our Scorpio friends. Just want to cut these. Hmm. 
Well, we've got the the Tower and the Knight of Wands. Um, yeah, I think somebody is about to run off to tell someone else they love them, and it's going to cause a tower in someone else's life. Just want to do that so we could cut here. I think it's going to cause a tower in their life and in the other person's life. Let's see what's going on, Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Clarify, please, what's going on here. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Yeah, so the um, the emperor or the person that's taking charge, whatever your sign may be, the person that's taking charge is um, wanting to start brand new. So the page of coins is about materializing things in the 3D that you were just dreaming of previously. And the page of coins, being in the 3D is what we're, you know, it's our life that we're in right now. 5D is in your dreams. I feel like the... Um, the uh, emperor has manifested a new start here or is trying to manifest a new start of something. Um, I feel like this has been a dream in the head. I feel like there has been lots of dreaming, daydreaming, thinking about it, moving, but moving forward. But I feel like this is the first time that the emperor has been able to bring this all into the 3D. So I feel like now... They are going to want to start something new, either a new job, because this is the Eight of Coins. Uh, the Emperor could be wanting uh, whoever's taking charge. I shouldn't really say the Emperor, because it is the energy of the Emperor. So no matter what your sign is, if you're deciding to take charge, you may be deciding that you need to start a new job. The Eight of Coins is about work. It's about working hard, putting the work into it. It is, all, it is also about um, the workplace. So you could be starting a new job in a new workplace, um, but you could be wanting to start something new with someone you met in a workplace as well. And um, the Eight of Coins is also self-mastery. So this, um, you know, for those of you, we've got a few different stories here. Some of you are starting brand new with your um, self-mastery. Some of you are starting a brand new job. And um, some of you, I feel like, are starting, trying to start something new um, in the 3D with someone that you met at work. the nine of swords so the emperor has been through it been through a few things um i feel like work is stressing them out um who if that's your energy i feel like you're working too much you're working too much overtime you're exhausted you can't really do your communications and connections as you would i feel like you get a little bit short because you're exhausted um and i feel like you could be in danger of you know, the Emperor being in reverse, if you don't take care of this Nine of Swords energy. Um, well, the Nine of Swords is where, for me, where you decide that you're going to drop the burden. So, um, the, uh, you know, this is the decision, the Nine of Swords, I can't live like this anymore. I can't live with being stressed out and being depressed. I can't do this anymore. And uh, I feel like that's why you want a new start here. Yeah, two of wands back to the crossroads. So yeah, that's exactly what's going on here. I feel like someone who's taking charge of the situation or someone who's in Aries, it really doesn't matter what your sign is, you guys. We're talking about energy, the energy of the emperor, someone who takes charge, who's battle ready, um, someone who is ready to fight for what they want. I feel like this person who's taking charge or maybe is in Aries, the emperor energy is the person who has materialized something in the 3D. And uh, I feel as though they're either met someone at work, working on themselves, or uh, started a new job um, they just couldn't live with it the way it was before and so they took they went back to the crossroads and um, you know when you go back to the crossroads it's because you're either bored with what you're doing you're not happy with where you are in life um, you kind of go back to the crossroads you're at the crossroads in your life I see it as a place it's almost like you go to a place where you're by yourself, you think about it, what do I want to do from here, I need to make a decision, and I strongly feel as though Scorpio is making a decision between two. All right, so what we have is, I feel like this energy that's taking charge here is um, bringing themselves in from out of the cold. I feel like, um, so the person, there is someone that this um, emperor energy knows within this reading here. So someone who's familiar to them because they're going back to this person. This person had put them um, in 
time out essentially out in the cold i just heard time out someone had put them out in the cold right there is um a um i feel like there was a, a break in some sort of friendship relationship i don't feel like anything romantic is going on here i feel like there was a lot of passion i feel like there was an age difference i feel like somebody fell in love with another person but i don't see anything that indicates there might be anything um sinister going on here no one's cheating on anybody um there isn't anything like that. There's just a lot of wishing and trying to manifest it into the present moment. We have the High Priestess. This person has finally found their intuition. Um, they also know that the person that they are dealing with is has their own intuition. So I feel like the two people, which I feel like the other person may have either water in their chart, their big three, Sun, Moon, and Rising, or they... Um, uh, they, they have a son that's in, in water. Um, but we have the High Priestess here who is Pisces. She is the one who... Um, I think there's a lot of secrets here. There's a lot of secrets here about why this person was put out in the cold. And I think it comes from both sides. I feel like the person who took charge and cut the other person out, I feel like the reason that that was done um, was for a reason. And I don't know what that is just yet. Let's clarify here. Let's see if we can get more information. I feel like the conversation that's going to be had is going to be really a really good one. And um, I feel like it's going to be like, I see two people sitting at a table, male and female. Not necessarily. Um, I feel like these two people that are sitting toward each other are, you know, one is female um, and one is male. I feel like the divine energies are, are different. They're opposite of each other. And uh, I feel like with this high priestess energy that uh, the two of them are sitting down to talk about why why they were left out in the cold, why they cut each other off, why they ghosted each other. I'm not sure who did that to who, but they're talking about time past and the secrets they're in. I feel like there are things that haven't been spoken aloud, and I feel like the um, person who's taking charge or the emperor energy is moving in to talk to uh, someone who could be earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and they could be letting them know that they have found their inner light, the high priestess, and that they just had a feeling that um, if they came toward uh, the person that they wanted to be with, that that person was going to be accepting of them, and I think they will. I feel like this um, this person who has the emperor energy, I feel like that person is coming in with an offer. Um, they're also going to dispel any myths, tell you about any secrets that you think, they're gonna answer all your questions um, honestly. Yeah, they're not going to leave anything out. They're going to answer every question you have honestly about where they've been um, while you two have been apart. And I see you have been apart because of the Four of Wands here. I feel like the, the, the two of you have been healing or there's just a, a break in conversation and communication. We have uh, the Queen of Swords. Okay, so I feel like somebody got divorced. Queen of Swords, for me, the energy of someone who is divorced, someone who has knowledge, who's gained knowledge because of a legal thing. Um, this person's highly intelligent. They always speak their truth. They've been through a lot in life, so they've realized that if they don't speak their truth, they're just not going to go anywhere. I feel like um, the person that the emperor wants to speak with has this kind of energy. They are ready just to cut to the chase. None of the bullshit on top, just cut to the chase. Tell me the answers. Tell me what I want to know. Why were you out in the cold? Why did you ghost me? Or why did, did you, why did the emperor, the person taking charge wants to know why you ghosted them or why they, or want to talk to you about why you ghosted them or they ghosted you. <laughs> That was hard to get out. Okay. And then we have the Knight of Coins. Yeah. This is um, someone who's bringing in an offer to you. It's taken a very long time because you two haven't been speaking. And I feel like this is what's, um, this is the energy that's moving around in the past, I feel. I feel like there is um, the Knight of Coins here that uh, is bringing in this offer, but it's been very slow. Virgo energy. I always blame it on Virgo because Virgo's got all the details. But this is the only guy that I trust to get across the line, right? This is the one that... Um, is very steady, slow, has all the details, crosses all the T's, dotters, dots all the I's, brings in the serious, um, the very serious uh, question of, do you want to have a relationship? And then we have uh, the lovers, and 
uh, the Eight of Swords. Okay, so I feel like um, uh, I feel like it is the person taking charge, the Emperor energy, that wants to come in quickly and tell someone, this person they haven't talked to in a very long time, about um, not feeling as though they could come forward, about feeling stuck, the Eight of Swords, all up in their head, thinking and rethinking, thinking about it too much. And I feel like they almost talked themselves out of coming forward at this point. Because you two have not had any communication, they're um, kind of sure, using their intuition, that you'll accept their inv invite, but not totally sure. And the Scorpios that I know want to be absolutely, completely, totally sure, because Scorpio doesn't lose. That's the way it goes. So the Knight of Cups, I feel like this person's coming in with an apology, with love, with uh, devotional love, like deep, deep love in their heart, letting you know that they've always had these feelings for you here. Um, Scorpio, I think you've always had feelings for this person. They could have air in their chart, in their big three. They could have um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Or you, Scorpio, could have those in your chart as well. And we have the Hanged Man. So the Hanged Man is in the reverse, which tells me that there has been a decision made here. And that's why this Emperor Energy has charged in to talk to the person they feel is their person. The Lover's Card is here, and that means that you know, this was supposed to happen. That means that this person that we're talking about, Scorpio, whoever the person is that you're thinking about, your person, this one, they could have some um, fire in their chart. They could be a Gemini. They could have air in their chart. They could have Pisces in their chart. And um, I feel like uh, you have made a decision. Scorpio, you've made a decision and that's why you want to uh, break this Four of Swords down here. I feel like there is going to be a connection here between two people who haven't seen each other in a very long time. I feel like this Emperor is going to the crossroads because he's asking someone else to be his or hers, depending on how you're looking at that energy. And then we have uh, the Page of... Um, fire. In the page of fire, it says here that um, there is no justice. So there could be some sort of an injustice that has happened to the emperor, whoever's carrying the fire energy, that it looks like things did not come out the way you wanted to when it comes to um, justice. And it could be the legal system, but it could be something that you really wanted and you didn't get, or that you were just feeling really out of balance as you move forward because of an age difference. I feel like the age difference makes you a little bit uncomfortable. You're not really sure what to do with that, but I feel like you feel this person is going to turn you away. But I think I feel like it's, it's because of the age difference. Um, and we have death and justice. Let me take a look here. <clears throat> And in the end, there was no justice. So, yeah, I feel like this is how the, the person taking charge is feeling. That in the end, there is no justice. I feel like this person thinks they're going to be turned down because of the age difference. And they feel like this is over. They're not sure whether to come forward. <coughs> but as I said, the emperor is the person who fights for what he wants or she wants. It is battle ready, right? Always willing to fight for whatever whatever is necessary to fight for. And we have the Two of Swords. So um, what I think is going on here is I see this Emperor here making a decision or the person that they um, are thinking about, that person is making a decision or wants to and has not as of yet. So this Emperor is going forward, feels like there could be a win for them here, but I don't know, this person, this person who I feel is the person, is your person, the person that you're thinking about, I feel like that person is um, not exactly sure about whether they want to take you in or not. Five of Swords means you will fight for anything, yeah. And that's common with the Emperor, someone who takes charge, someone who's a real go-getter. You know, I feel like there's a lot of words that can be said as well that maybe there was communications and connections between the two of you when you were connected that just weren't kind. And I think that the Emperor wants to fix that. Yeah, I feel like there may have been um, communication 
uh, over higher learning, higher thinking. Maybe one of you connected with the other and felt like, no, that person's not well yet. I'm not. I'm going to let them heal a little bit longer. This could also be uh, someone that you met at church. We've got the Hierophant. This could be someone you met at work because it does mean corporation. And um, we also, it could mean love and marriage, right? So I feel like this... Um, emperor whomever your person is i feel like the scorpio i'm speaking with may have prominent aries in their chart or it's just the person who is taking charge of this whole situation which means you're going towards the person that you want scorpio they are not making a move toward you they are actually wait waiting on you to make a move towards them um, because you could be the one who's married or they feel as though you could be married so i feel like you are going to be the one who has to move forward the other person and will not um, yeah it looks like there's some toxicity that the Emperor is trying to um, sideline here I feel like using courage to um, sideline the toxicity six of coins they, all they want is reciprocity I feel like yeah the the person taking charge of the Emperor is giving to two but trying to manifest their way out of it um, the Wheel of Fortune is going to turn if they can manifest the, their way out of it and come to meet their person. And yep, then there's love. All right, let's take a look and see. What does the Kipper say for you here? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What more information can you give us about this union, please? I feel like Scorpio or whomever has the Aries or whoever has, whoever's taking charge of the situation is the one moving forward to the other. I feel like that's you, Scorpio. Somebody who has a concern. So the, so Scorpio, I feel like you do have a concern. We have 33 here, which is a master number. And I also feel as though, there is a concern about the reunion. Oh, you feel like, Scorpio, you feel like your person is with someone else. So you're going back to the crossroads, but you're not exactly sure if this person is single, and that's what makes you nervous. I think your intuition is telling you that they are, though. Oh, there we have a false person. Oh, there's three people here. Okay, understood. So, thank you. That was my guides and angels. Thank you so much. So, there are three people here. I feel like there is a... Um, yeah, there is a third. So, maybe the emperor has not let go of their other person yet. You may or may not know that. So, I feel that's why this false person card is coming up. So, this person may... Oh, Scorpio, are you divorced or are you not? Well, you could be. Because I do see the Hierophant here. I see no justice. There's the end of arguments. So you could very well be either headed to or finishing up some sort of divorce. Yeah. I think you want justice here. You just want to know who's being honest with you and who's not, Scorpio, because you're tired of getting the shaft, right? You're tired of people lying to you and not being honest. We have um, the privileged lady here. I feel like the privileged lady is someone who... I think it might be the other person, to be honest. So I feel like, Scorpio, you're going towards someone, but I feel like you're divorcing someone. Um, or getting out of a relationship with someone, or you've already done that and this is in the past, but we have despair here. So I feel like this healing that is coming, the reason that you two haven't seen each other is because you have been trying to get out of a situation and this person feels as though you're married and so no one's talking to no one, which is good, like good on your person that they didn't get all meddled up in, in the middle of you know a, a relationship that's breaking up. I feel it's kind of noble that you're getting this all done before you see this person. I feel like that's what's happening here. I feel like that's why the Knight of Coins is taking so long because there is a lot of stuff that um, this person who's taking charge of or um, the Emperor Aries possibly, this person um, is... Yeah, I feel, yeah. It is you, Scorpio, that's taking charge here. I feel like there is a... 
concern that someone's lying to you. Oh, maybe about how much money they make. And that would put you in despair. Well, let's see what else we have here. The snake. I feel like you're scared you're going to get bitten again. Yeah, you've already been in a relationship. You've This is not your first rodeo and you don't want to get hurt again. I feel like this could be the other woman that maybe there's someone who's waiting for this reunion here. The Three of Cups. This could be another woman or a man depending on, on how that works out for you in terms of energies. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. I feel like someone who's, I feel like there's two feminines and one masculine here, and that there is going to be um, someone who is going to try and take advantage of the emperor or the emperor energy, whoever's taking charge here. I feel like this person is trying to prevent the emperor from leaving, and that's what's taking so long. I feel like not only is healing taking a while, but I feel like this emperor has mountains to move here. Yeah. Mountains are things you need to climb, right? You need to get over those mountains to see what's on the other side. Things that are in your way. Things that are stopping you from moving forward. And I feel like there's a combination of someone who is spreading a lot of lies, who's trying to hurt somebody's reputation. And this mountain is coming up because, you know, the person who has this energy of the Aries here, I feel, is the person who has to climb the mountain. I feel like two people become one so that there is... Um, you know, the card number 21, to me, that looks like two become one. So I feel like there is some sort of a breakup of a relationship, whether that's marriage or living together or what have you. Um, privileged lady here, I feel, is the one who is lying. Um, and the privileged lady, I feel like, is someone who is involved with the primary energy of Scorpio. Um, the privileged lady, I feel wants the partnership and she's using the children to try and keep this person at bay like to try and keep them home I think the children are the only thing that give them balance I think that the privileged lady is way more concerned about the partnership a partnership rather than she is about the children I feel, though, that the children give balance to the primary energy, Scorpio, which is you. I feel like you're also trying to make a decision to help the children. Maybe that because of this divorce, the children are in psychology or psychiatry, learning how to communicate and connect uh, in a different way to get a more positive result, I think, out of the parents. And um, I feel like, yeah, there is some something going on here. Um, mm, somebody's in despair. I feel like it's you, Scorpio. Uh, I feel like this could be your person, too, because I feel like um, three becomes two. So a partnership becomes just two people. So somebody's dropped here. Somebody is dropped from this triangle of love here. Uh, the garden. So I feel like, yeah, I feel like there's going to be something that is going to end here. There is the death card underneath here, as we saw. Maybe it's death to despair. Um, no, I feel like this person is in despair because they're they're sure they're going to get turned down. I feel, Scorpio, you're going to ask somebody out for a date. Can you come out with me? I've got some, some things i got to talk to you about. I think that's where it's going to go, um, how it's going to start. Um, let's look at these... Uh, I have the wellness cards here. Let's see what else we have here. Seduction, Grim Reaper, and Clock. Okay, so yeah, something did end here. Um, um, the relationship is over, is what it says here. So yeah, the relationship between the lying um, privileged lady uh, is, is over. There is uh, something pulling the Scorpio toward them, not something, someone, someone's energy. They are very attracted to you. Uh, Scorpio, you are very attracted to them. There could have possibly be some flirting or dating going on um, in the past, but I feel like you guys haven't seen each other for quite some time. Um, and I feel like this clock here says it all here. It says need time takes time. Um, cycles, time to heal. So I feel like that's what's happening here, that there has been a breakup here, a breakup of a family. I feel like someone's in despair, but they did catch someone lying to them or cheating on them, and they brought the relationship to an end. 
All right. What are we going to do in the extended? In the extended, we're going to look at some uh, romance angels. We are going to clarify further. And the things that I want to clarify are why you two have not had communication. What is this going to bring? This reunion. What else do we have here? Who is the false person? What is the concern about the false person? And what has come to an end? We've got the death card, right? All right. So we're going to talk about what came to an end. We're going to talk about how this reunion is going to go between Scorpio and their person. We're going to talk about why you two have not been speaking to each other for so long. And um, we're also going to talk about um, the person in charge here, the, pers the primary person here who is Scorpio. They have a false person and they have a concern about someone who's been lying and cheating. I think it might be the privileged lady. It might be the person that they were married to. So we are going to talk about that and find out what that's about. So if you're interested in knowing more about what is going on in this connection please join me over at the um at the extended you'll find the link is the first one below this video in the description area but if this is where we part thank you so much for coming over and watching um scorpio thank you so much for coming here clicking here um i'm not doing personal or private readings right now i am off until the first of september this could lead into october but i will let you know if you're interested in getting on a wait list you can do that by emailing me elsie at tenacupstarot.ca I'm going to go for now, and thank you so much for watching. I'm going over to the extended. Bye-bye.